as if DeMar DeRozan and the Chicago Bulls needed any more motivation in their season being on the line. DeRozan said coming into this one, his daughter isn't able to come to this game, but can attend if they make the postseason. They're up by six, thanks to 18.6 assists from DeRozan in this first half. On their way to at least halfway being to that goal coming true, Michael Wilbon, Bob Myers, the great Stephen A. Smith, I'm Malika Andrews. We're going to let Michael Wilbon just take a deep breath here because he's been screaming at the TV for the past hour plus right. watching this play out. Stephen A., what are you watching this one that's been the difference? Well, I give major, major props to the Atlanta Hawks for coming back from an 18-point deficit. It looked like the Bulls were going to run them out of the gym, and then they come out in the second quarter and go on a 15-0 run. Basically, the start thing. I expected I didn't expect that from Atlanta. Give DeJounte Murray a lot of credit. He's been on fire. He's been doing his thing. Clint Capella's been doing his thing. Shockingly, it shouldn't shock me. I expect more from Trey Young. This is his mm. third play-in game. He's 3-0 and on playing games and what have you. Uh, but against the Bulls this year, in two games that he's played out of the three they played him, this man is averaging 20 points on 29% shooting and 23 points from three-point range. I'm sorry, 23% from three-point range. That is anemic, to say the least. That's 13 and a half assists. I give him credit for that. But it's not an accident to me how the Hawks came back. They did it with him on the bench. That should tell you something. Was no surprise, because when they were up 18, Stephen A., I looked at Malika, and she was trying to calm me down at the time, and I said, this is going to be a six-point lead at the half. Is that what I said exactly? We've been doing very well with halftime predictions. Some of us today. did well with the first game. Yes. Yeah, so first game, some of us did. Some of us Second, this is what the Bulls do, Nicholas though. Patoon. The <laughs> Bulls have these moments of brilliance that lead the team's executives to say, well, let's keep them together. Look yeah. at how far this can oh, go. Yeah. Good point. And then they don't. They give up 15 old quarters to start, even at home, Stephen A, an important game. So this is where the Bulls are. This is emblematic of what we see from the long time. I mean, it's interesting. You look at this score, 73-67 in the last game, 51-39. to It's a totally different game I mean, for the people watching. I mean, the, the first game was what – it was just a, a street fight. And now there's freedom to move. I mean, the Bulls are shooting 60 percent. Right. Can you imagine one of those? They could shoot 60 percent in here no, I, I, on yeah. this hoop. Well, don't so ask Bob us. about that. Yeah. Well, look. <laughs> you know what I'm impressed by? Demar Derozan continues to impress me. He does. At his age, yeah. and I'm just becoming more of a fan of him. Just the mid-range. How, how he carries himself. Yeah. Will as somebody a leader? want him in this offseason? As yeah, they should. Of course. A yeah, bunch of, of teams should. Bulls should. Absolutely. Bulls should. Clearly, yeah. he's still making an impact as the the lone mid-ranger, as we say. But Dejounte Murray, you mentioned he's doing everything for the Hawks. Even yes, he is. Help. Helping to keep it up. Donovan's just helping him out, though. He's been hitting a couple of threes, and Capella's helping him out. We'll see if it continues.